hey guys it's a good evening from this side and everything is well as the things are going on yeah welcome to uh, i am gretel like my videos and share so i am Anne gretel for those who don't show me and uh, this channel goes by the name i am underscore gretel yeah so it's a good evening from this side it's love and remember i'm coming to you live from one of the interior villages here in majongani village this village is located in Kwale County, yeah, and this is Kenya. So, what's happening today? There's just something great, something special that I want to show you guys. So, just be tuned till the end, and I think you'll like the video. Yeah, and remember to like it, share, and click on the subscription button. It's healthy for you to subscribe for me, and I'll be grateful for that. So today as i had told you earlier i think i had sh there's a video that i did showing you how we made a homemade beehive made of just simple wood and nails and we hung it over over this place over here yeah and today it's now like two to three months ever since we did that the bees came and lived inside it and i think there's honey so we are to have this honey today so i hope you'll enjoy guys just i hope you'll enjoy it i hope you'll enjoy it so there's this friend of to my dad who has come and i will show you everything that goes on guys i'll show you the equipments and everything that is happening on the ground so this is the friend to my dad who has just come to help him to harvest the honey yes Dad, I think you can greet my people over here. You can greet my people over here. Hello, my people of the internet. Well, uh, this is Solomon Carosio here in the deepest villages of uh, Majongani coastal region, Lunga Lunga sub region. Today, I want to try to harvest uh, my first beehive. It so, is very late, but I just want to to try as possible. Yes. So that I can see what's going on. Yes. After so, about three months. Yeah. So there is this friend to my dad over here. So he's the one who has come to assist my dad over doing this work. And you can see he has some necessary things over here. These are gloves and this is the garment, you see. And we just want to see how things will be on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, this is how things are. So these are the necessary weapons to attack the bees. So my dad is wearing one over here. So this one should be this one. So for me, I've never seen such a garment. I just see in the pictures. So today, guys, I'm seeing this live. So this is how things are, guys. So guys, this is how things are. This is how things are on the ground. Then there are these gloves over here, Dad. 
you'll have to put them on. The gloves. These gloves over here. Dad, you have to put the gloves. Then, guys, so there is these things that have been made over here. So these ones are the corn. They're from the corn. I don't know how they are called, but <laughs> they are to be placed inside this can over here. Maize cup. Maize oh, they're the maize corn now. Maize cup. Oh, maize cobs. Yeah. I had <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> so, guys, those are the maize cobs. So we just want to take the fire from this place, put them over here. Meanwhile, let me show you how things are going on over there. So, he's just climbing over that tree. Slowly by slowly. And he's having a rope in which he's gonna do it that way. So he's tying the rope over that beehive. After which, we want to see what next. So remember, guys, this is just a particular tree in which the beehive was placed over it. And this is my dad over here. Remember, this is another beehive that has just been placed over here. And the other one is there on top of the trees, but both have got bees. So they are just loosening the rope that had been tied on the beehive. You can see my dad now catching the beehive by the hands after wearing some protective things. As you can see, guys. Yeah. And he's taking it slowly and slowly, carefully, placing it down. So this is my dad himself and the friend is still over the tree climbing down slowly by slowly so they are just doing some one two three things So I can't, I can't get closer to there, guys, because I don't have some protective things that can help me. Well, I'm just standing over this side uh, as I look from a far distance. Yeah.
and I can see they are opening. And they have opened it finally. So guys, this is how things are. But it's very unfortunate that the bees had already sucked sucked the honey, so there's no honey. The bees have eaten the honey. So there is no, no honey at all, at all, guys. I think we delayed harvesting it and the bees sucked and sipped all of it. so guys things have gone wrong and we are being told by this expert over here that maybe the bees ate the honey or else they haven't yet produced the honey so they might just return it back over there. So the bees really did a lot of work in building these honeycombs over here.
So the expert is, expa is explaining that the queen herself, the queen of the bee, isn't inside the beehive. It's like it went away. And the other worker, bee, bee workers also went. So they should return the beehive just there at each point. After which they will see how things will be in three months time. So the queen isn't there anymore. <laughs> the honeycombs are well arranged. <laughs> As busy as a bee, <laughs> not as busy as an ant. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, you know what I'm sure. Now, we know what I'm sure. Yeah. That's how it is. So, the bee, the queen of the bees, isn't there. Mm. So, they are returning it back to the tree. You don't follow me. And I can come out. This Yeah, So it is being closed again. Oh, 
So guys, the harvesting of the bee has the harvesting of the honey, I mean, has gone a little bit wrong. But we're just going to return the beehive up there to see if things will go right. Coming another month. And it is being tied back. So that we return it back to the tree. You can see it how it is. And they want to go back and tie it up the tree. So this is how it has gone guys. Harvesting mm. has gone wrong, <laughs> but we haven't lost some. We, we haven't lost hope. We we'll still continue till the gate, till the day we get to eat honey. <laughs> so, guys, remember, I'm just coming to you live from Majongani village, and I am grateful for those who doesn't know me. And this is my YouTube channel. Just don't forget to click on the subscription button, like the video, and share. And I'll be grateful for that. So today we were just trying to see or to look our beehives, our homemade beehives just made of wood and some nails to see whether the bees had made some honey. But it's a little bit shocked that we haven't gotten the honey. So the things, there are only two things. Either the bees ate up the honey or they haven't made yet the honey. So we are still putting it, putting the beehive back to its position to see if things will be right by coming next month. Yeah, so that's what was happening in this video. Yeah. And that is how they are doing it over there. So this is the beehive. So we have just gotten the honeycombs inside the beehive. No honey yet. Okay. 
But I think we should make other beehives to make this honey thing easier for us to get. <laughs> That's my opinion. But we will. So they are tying the beehive at the tree again. After which everything will be made easier. So guys, the one who came to help my dad is an expert who deals with bees and beehives. And these garments over here are his. Yeah. So he's having a lot of bees in his how his home or he is a beekeeper. Yeah. He's tying it up there. So things are right, and he's now coming down from the tree. But we really appreciate this good job that has happened because we couldn't know what was happening inside it. Hope you've enjoyed to see these guys and that's how things have been. So they are also checking on that one, though this one hasn't been there for some months, but they're just checking on whether the bees are still inside it or what's happening over here. So they also want to check on this one to see how things are. They want to, they want to check on the second one, which is this one right here. The smoker. So the thing is called the smoker. The smoker is the metallic thing that I showed you, which is removing some smoke, which is this one right over here. That is the smoker. So it's my first time seeing these garments and seeing everything related to bees. Because I've never seen such. Moto eko sawa. We are seeing how things are guys and we are just adding some some fire here in this smoker some fire inside this smoker because they want to check they want to check the other beehive So this is how a smoker looks like and it is being pressed can you press it this is how they press it and it removes some smoke
so let's see how they do it over this side I think they'll be removing the upper cover of the beehive they are first doing the smoke all over you can see the So they are opening and smoking it to see how the bees are doing. And see how they do it. So we're being told that the upper one, the queen went away. That's the main problem. But everything has gone right. That's how things have been. And we really appreciate for the good work that has happened over here. And we have really enjoyed because I myself have I'd never seen garments that are being used to harvest the honey, you know. The smoker, at least I've now known some few things, one, two things, and I really appreciate that good job. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just subscribe, click on the subscription button, like my videos and share, and see you in another video. Bye-bye, guys.